super, super excited to be making this video because what does Shalini do better than anything else? Shopping. And I had a special reason to shop. Plus, I feel like I look kind of good in this video. A store that I quite enjoyed in Canada is closing down. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard about this. It's Target. I know that a lot of people kind of don't appreciate Target or like it. I'm a fan because I feel like it's teen girl heaven. Like it has junk food, snacks, makeup, candles, stationery, random useless junk that I just feel like I need in my life. So I'm pretty bummed that it's closing, but they have a little bit of a liquidation sale. So I managed to pick up some things which probably were not the best deals, but they were good enough for me. So, mini Target haul, just to celebrate, I guess, my last kind of days with Target before it leaves. So what did I get from Target, you guys ask? Well, it's a small bag, so I didn't go crazy. I got a few essentials. First off, I know that my friend Taylor has already got me a phone case, but I've never been able to really buy myself a phone case. Like, I think I've owned maybe two phone cases in my whole life. And they had some on sale, so I picked some up because I get to change my clothes and my poor new phony doesn't get to change its clothes. It doesn't really have clothes. So I bought it some outfits. Um, I got one case for it. It's They're just basic hard shells, like nothing special. One is pink, it's like bubblegum, fuchsia-y kind of pink, really cute. And another one, which I actually still kept in this package, this dark blue one. It's like dark blue, purpley kind of color. Yeah, I just picked up a couple. So when I feel like changing it up, I can. Oh! Do you ever go through your bags when you're like of stuff that you've bought and you're like, wow, I don't remember buying that. Cool. Now I have something brand new that I just bought and forgot about. This happens to me quite often. I got a whole bunch of CoverGirl things. I haven't owned a ton of CoverGirl and tons and tons of girls have been raving about different products and saying that they swear by a lot of them. So I picked up some. One product I got is the Clump Crusher Mascara, um, and it looks like this. I hear that this is a really wicked mascara, that it's just very defining, yet very volumizing. So I'm super stoked to try this. I've wanted to for a while, and I think it was like 30% off. Next, I got a foundation, and this is from the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous line. I got the shade in 210, which honestly probably seems a bit bizarre because there's a lot of Caucasian and Asian females I've seen who also get this color. Maybe I'm off in this. I don't blend it out onto my skin. It seems to match perfectly. And when I went a shade darker, my mom said it didn't match. So maybe I'm secretly white or Asian. So I got this. <laughs> I'm super stoked to try it out. I think it was pull out the old receipt here, $7.99, so not bad. I think it was 30% off as well. Of course, if I'm gonna get foundation, I have to get powder. So I got the Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Powder Foundation as well to go on top of my liquid foundation. I got 205 to 210. I really love the packaging of this. Like I wanted this for a while just for the packaging. It looks super cute, but let's see if in my makeup bag, this stays white kind of looks like an egg. I'm excited to kind of try these three together and do like a first impression. So comment below and let me know if you guys want that video because I will totally make it. Next door, uh, something that I got from Indigo that I really didn't need. I caught this little bag right here. It's so cute. It, it's like white and it has a gold zipper and little gold dots. It says hello in pink. And the other side also says hello. And it's just so adorable. <laughs> I can't. Ooh, it's so cute. And so inside this bag, what it originally came with is a couple of pencils, which I already sharpened, a white and pink one, a tiny gold sharpener, and a white eraser. It was $5.25. I find it really big to be a pencil case, personally. Like, I would never need this many pencils. So I am going to use it as a makeup bag. Clearly, it's already full and overflowing. These are my products. So it's all ready, ready and set to go. And I also went to Bath & Body Works because they got out a new scent. So I was super, super intrigued by it because the packaging looks phenomenal, like just beautiful. And it seemed like a yummy smell. So I managed to pick up a few scents because they were on sale. I got the minis. Don't worry. I know I buy too much of these kind of things, but I got minis. <laughs> that justifies it somehow. Three products were $8, so I got two sets. The scent that I was looking to get is called Love and Sunshine. How can you not love this? Like. 
The bottle's cute and yellow and summery, and the smell is so pretty. Mmm, it's, it's such a pretty smell. It's just really flowers and sunshine and lemon, how I would describe the smell. So I got two of those. I got two lotions of it. That's what they look like. It says that they smell like love and sunshine. They definitely smell like love and sunshine. And then I just picked up a couple of other little randoms. This one is Endless Weekend. It's a lotion. And I got a candle of this last year when it was a brand new summer collection. And it's just a really, really sweet smell. Kind of fragrant, a little bit more. Almost perfume smell, but not quite too much. Then I also got this body spray in Lush Pink Dragon Fruit. And I just, I love the smell of dragon fruit. I love dragon fruit itself. It's really yummy. And it smells so, like, sweet and juicy and just delicious. I also, from Walmart, this isn't really something I got myself. Mom got it for me. It's an Essie nail polish. And I've wanted this for quite a while. It's this light pink shade, which I'm currently wearing on my nails, but is also falling apart to pieces. I've been working a lot lately, so... Eh. And the reason that this is perfect is not just the color or the fact that it's Essie, it's the fact that it's called Fiji. It doesn't focus, but yeah, I swear to God, it does say Fiji. My parents are from Fiji, I've been to Fiji like four or five times in my life. I'm kind of a fan of it, so this is just perfectly me, like let's be honest, if I was a pink nail polish in a bottle, Ta-da! I am. Last off, I had to get body butters from the body shop. There's my little tower. You know how I complained to you guys before about how I have way too many lotions and body butters? Well, I've definitely been adding to the collection. This is some of it. This isn't even all of it. Since apparently that drawer full, um, a whole bunch of containers full, a shelf full, and behind me full is not enough, I needed to purchase some more. I got a raspberry lotion because raspberry is my favorite smell. I always get the body butter, never seen a lotion. It was $5. Hello. Early harvest raspberry lotion. Um, looks like this. Best smell in the entire world ever, period. Raspberries ain't got nothing on this. This is delicious and I got it. I can never have enough of this milk. Next off, I had to get some body butters. So I got, of course, another grapefruit one. When aren't I buying this or wearing this? And then I got a couple of body butters in an olive. It doesn't smell like an olive though. It's a very, very clean, fresh smell, and it kind of smells like grassy dewiness in the springtime. So I got two of those. They also had their Christmassy holiday stuff on sale. So I got a big body butter of frosted cranberry. It smells kind of similar to the raspberry one, but not as good. Super, super sweet. Super sweet. I think it does kind of smell like cranberries, so it's like a sugared cranberry. And then I got this one, which I've already gotten into, as you can tell, fingerprints, because I used it. And this one is in a green apple smell, glazed apple body butter. I think it smells like green apple. It seems kind of strong when you put it on. It's really not that strong, which is kind of a bummer. Wish it was a little more scented. That would be really nice, but not bad. That covers my haul as of late. I hope you guys really loved this video. Comment below and let me know what you guys' favorite body butter is. Or smell. What's your favorite lotion smell? Um, subscribe to my channel for more videos because I have plenty more, especially hauls. I have a playlist of haul videos you guys can check out. Especially if you subscribe to my channel, you'll be able to see everything. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Make sure to give it a thumbs up at the bottom. I greatly appreciate it. I will be sure to make more videos for you guys and see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.